Shelby Bash has officially begun. We are on our way from Palm Springs to Lake Havasu. Lunch break over there, then we're gonna be going from Lake Havasu straight to Vegas. It'll be a pretty long rally, so let's have some fun. We've got a 2017 Grabber Blue GT 350R in front of me. He's got twin turbos as well. Uh, you don't see that every day. So we finally made it to the freeway. Uh, the traffic is intense over here in Palm Springs. Here we go. And the road trip begins. saying that GT350R is fast. This really, like if I were to full throttle right now at let's say 90, 100, it doesn't, you know, it's got 500 horsepower. It's not going to be the quickest car out there. His car though just freaking flies. Twin turbos really do help, but I still, you know, it's, it's different. It's a different experience, this car and that car. But it is fast. It is fast. We're on the back roads. No corners, really, for the R. Hopefully, we come across some. Yep, straight away, and all the Mustangs are directly in front of us. update for you guys we've been on the road for uh, quite some time now I've gotten all the way down to 55 miles of gas and we have 90 miles to go um, that that's not that good middle of nowhere nothing around us 32 miles of gas left me trying to modulate six gear to raise my 12.4 average miles per gallon and out of nowhere a gas station shows up completely lucked out i'm just surprised that this car is running lower on gas than for example that super snake right in front of us got a semi in front of us. Um, we got to pass him. Man, blue super snakes do look nice. It doesn't look as, you know, sleeper as uh, the signature one that we have. It looks good in its own way, too. Zone has changed. Um, we've gained an hour, 
so really it's 12.10. We should be coming off on Lake Havasun uh, shortly. What's up guys, welcome back. We officially have made it to Lake Havasu. Right behind me is an official pace car, GT500 I believe. Actually, nope, so it's a Shelby GT. Um, so it's been a couple hours since we've actually stopped and gotten food, so we're gonna do that right now. And then after this, we're heading straight to Las Vegas. Hit you guys up when that happens. right now it's gonna be 120 miles till we reach Las Vegas and once we get there um, we're gonna be stopping at Shelby American and I'll be picking up the super snake like I said in the previous videos it is going through a bit of work um, it had to get a new clutch we put a new drive shaft in it an aluminum drive shaft and they reworked the rear end so we're gonna go ahead and pick that up and see see what happens it's been gone for over a month now and uh, been missing it a lot. Truthfully, driving the car right now, a couple hundred miles, what I am noticing is the biggest drawback, and this is the same thing when you're at the racetrack, and that is the gas and the gas mileage. When you're on the track, you just keep going. You know, you don't, you don't want to stop. Um, the car is not making you stop except for that fuel tank. Actually, you know what's pretty funny is that this car, it gives you a weird sensation. Not just that it revs up to 8250, 
everyone knows that part. Um, but what, what's weird though is that on the highway, like we've been going about 80, 90, all the way up to Las Vegas so far, even to Lake Havasu. And it's in fifth gear and I'm right at about 4,000 RPMs. And that, that's kind of, that's odd, you know? If, Jesus, the suspension of this car, it, it's super firm. I'm not gonna complain about it, you know? It's bumpy, yeah. But you bought the car for it to be a track car. You should accept that and appreciate it. That's what I'm gonna do. Even at 80 miles an hour right now, I'm at about 4,000 RPMs. It kind of gives you a weird sensation. Most cars, you know, they cap out at about 6,000 RPMs. I know some go to 5,000. Uh, it, it's a different sensation. You want to keep up shifting, but in sixth gear, you have really no power. It's, it's the car's dead. Fifth gear, it's like you want to maintain in that gear. But the gas mileage goes down. Like I said, I got 12.4 miles per gallon all the way to Lake Havasu, which was a 140 mile drive. Uh, he's got to deal with it. This is a race car. It's a race car built for the street. And it does both of those tasks perfectly well. So that is also very apparent when you're on a road trip with this car. Unless you're riding in six gear and you're the smoothest driver, you can get amazing gas mileage. But if you're someone like me, um, not so much. Okay, so I just saw a sign. Uh, we just left Arizona, number one. And secondly, it is 100 miles from here to Las Vegas. Lifted trucks, oh my gosh. I shouldn't hate, I've got one too. And it, it's pretty funny, you know, the jokes people make off that kind of stuff. Same thing with Mustangs, you know, the Mustang jokes, the memes, people call them. Right now we've got all the Mustangs scattered around. Uh, originally we'd all be in one line and then pass, you know, in a formation. Right now we're just taking up both lanes, just enjoying a nice ride, a nice drive all the way back to Las Vegas. And as you can see there, we're, we're getting close, we're, you know, we're getting a bit closer, but still we're quite a bit away. As you can tell, what I'm wearing right now is a new merch. That is right, I have a YouTube shirt now. It started with the YouTube sticker on the side and the quarter panel windows on the R. And sometime later, I made a t-shirt. Uh, it didn't take that much time to make, uh, I, spent like a, I spent like an hour on it. I think it worked pretty well. Desert, 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 oh my gosh.
Okay, we have made it to Shelby American Las Vegas. Uh, we're expecting the uh, Super Snake to be ready to be uh, picked up. But right in front of me is another sig signature edition Super Snake. Not sure if it's got a thousand horsepower, but it does. T dang nice. Whoa! <laughs> 